classroom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the classroom. Come on in. It's nice to see you. Do you see something special about the classroom today? Take a look around. There's lots of numbers. What numbers do you see? There's the number six and the number five. What number is this? That's the number eight. What about this one? That's the number one. Woohoo! <laughs> we use numbers for counting, and we'll be doing lots of counting in the classroom today. But first, let's wave a big hello to all our friends. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Shout it out nice and loud. Let's hear it. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Hi, everybody. A big hello to you and you and you and you. <laughs> Let's practice some counting together, everybody. And a great way to do that is with one of these. This is a dice. It has six sides and a different number of dots on each side. We can roll the dice, shake, 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 and roll and count the number of dots on the top side. I see one, two, three dots. Let's play a game with our dice and we'll do something three times. We can do a fun kind of movement. Yeah, but what kind of movement should we do? Hmm, let's let the big red button decide. I just have to find it. Um, Give me three seconds, everyone. I'll be right back. One, two, three. <laughs> Found it. We'll push the big red button and find a fun movement to do in the window. Here we go. Look at it go. Ooh, jump. We can do that. We'll jump one, two, three times, all together. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> nice job. Let's find another one. Hmm. Ooh, spin. <laughs> That's fun. Now let's roll the dice. Shake, 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 and roll. And let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, five spins. We might get a little dizzy. <laughs> Are you ready? Make sure you have lots of room. Here we go. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Are you feeling a little dizzy? Ooh, <laughs> that was fun. Let's see what the big red button will choose next. What will it be? Blink. Blink your eyes. Okay, let's roll the dice. Shake, 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 and roll. Ooh, one, two, two blinks. Are you ready? One, Two. <laughs> nice job. Let's do one more. And it's clap. Ooh, I like clapping. Let's roll the dice. Shake, 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 shake. Roll. Wow. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six big claps. Let's do it all together. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Hooray! Now give yourselves lots of claps. Yay! <laughs> six is the highest number on the dice. But what if we wanted to do something seven times? We'd have to do something else. I know. Let's sing a song. <laughs> this song is called Seven Steps. And you can take a step for every number we sing. And you can sing along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Let's try it again. One step for every number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Let's try counting backwards. You can try taking steps backwards too. Be careful though. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo, this is fun. Let's try it one more time, counting down from seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, seven, six, five. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, great counting, everybody. Great singing, too. That's a fun song to walk along to. You can walk along using your fingers too, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And backwards. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's great counting practice to count your steps. You can count how many steps it takes to go somewhere, or you can count your finger steps. Finger steps are a lot more fun with finger paint. I have some red and green and blue and a piece of paper. Look at this. How many steps do you think it would take to go from here, that's me, to here where the guitar is? Do you have a guess? Let's try it. Let's try some red finger paint. I'll dip my two fingers in there. <laughs> we'll take some steps and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine steps. We can make a little nine here. Number nine. <laughs> there we go. Now, how many steps do you think it would take if we took big steps with our fingers? Should we try it? Let's use the green paint this time. Here we go. We'll take some big steps to get to the guitar. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Five big steps. Did you guess five? Good guessing. We'll do a number five up here. Need more finger paint. 
There we go. Five big steps. Now, what if we did little itty bitty baby steps? How many steps do you think it would take then? Maybe 10? Maybe more? Only one way to find out. Let's use the blue paint this time. We need lots of paint. We'll take little bitty baby steps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Need more paint. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, fifteen little steps. The number 15 is the number one next to the number five, just like that. <laughs> we did it. I wonder how many real steps it would take to get from here to the guitar in the classroom. Do you have a guess? Hmm, I think maybe three steps. What do you think? Let's try it. Here we go. One, two, three. Ta-da! We did it. Three steps. <laughs> well, since we're here, we might as well sing another song. I know a great one about counting bananas. <laughs> you can sing along with me. One banana, two bananas, one, two, three. Three bananas for me. Four bananas, five bananas, four, five, six. Six bananas for me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bananas for me. <laughs> Let's keep counting. 11, 12, 13, 13 bananas for me, 14, 15, 16, 16 bananas for me, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 bananas for me. All right, bananas, follow me. Here we go. Bananas to the left. Bananas to the right. Bananas turn around, spin. Bananas sit down. Now peel your banana and take a bite. Home. <laughs> that was fun. We counted all the way to 20. Great job, everybody. Whew, 20 bananas. <laughs> Someone must have been really hungry. I'm really hungry. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you just say that you're feeling hungry? Yes, I'm very hungry. Hmm, well, I think we have something you might like. How about pom-poms? Mmm, pom-poms. Pom-poms <laughs> are a great pretend food for our monster, but we wouldn't want to eat them ourselves. I'd like three yellow pom-poms, please. Okay, three yellow pom-poms. Here we go. Help me count. One, <laughs> two, three yellow pom-poms. Mmm. Five blue pom-poms, please. Five blue pom-poms coming right up. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Five blue pom-poms, there you go. Mmm, yummy. Seven red pom-poms, please. Seven red pom-poms. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven red pom poms. Mmm, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's a fun game. I'll show you how you can make a monster like this so you can play at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are a glue stick, googly eyes, an empty tissue box, and a grown-up. To get started with our tissue box monster, you need an empty tissue box. We'll start by taking out this plastic part. You can tear it out or cut it out, and you can cut a bigger monster mouth if you like. You can make it look really big and smiling like that. We take out all the plastic and then we'll paint it. Well, I'm gonna use some orange paint to make an orange monster. We're gonna cover the whole box with orange paint and then leave it to dry. And once it's dry, it's all ready to decorate. So I have one that I did earlier that's all ready to decorate together. It's all painted orange and I painted the inside, just the bottom, a black color. So it looks more like the inside of a monster's mouth. To decorate our monster, we're going to need some teeth. Yeah. To make the teeth, I have a piece of white foam or you could use construction paper and it's cut to a strip so that it will fit inside the tissue box. Just like that. Put it inside. And then we can draw what we want the teeth to look like. How about we make some big curvy teeth for this monster? Just like that. Ooh, that'll be nice. Then you can just cut along that line with some scissors, and when it comes out, it'll look something like this. And make sure to leave some room at the top for you to glue it on. And you can make sharp teeth, or maybe it's missing some teeth, anything you like. We'll add some glue to the top. And we'll carefully put it inside our tissue box, line it up, that looks pretty good. And we'll push it so it sticks inside. Just like that. <laughs> I also have one for the bottom. We'll add some glue here. This monster's missing some bottom teeth. How's that look? Yeah. I think our monster is gonna be pretty funny. <laughs> okay, now we can decorate our monster using lots of other things. You can use construction paper and markers and crayons or feathers. I have some different colored stickers here. How about we give our monster some polka dots? Some purple polka dots. Maybe one there. And bigger purple polka dot. I have to add some glue to this one. You can give your monster some stripes. That would look really neat. Or use some glitter. That would be great too. We're gonna make a polka dotted monster here. Put on a red polka dot. How about, hmm, a green polka dot. There we go. We have one, two, three, four, five polka dots on our monster. Now we need to add some eyes. So I put some eyes on some blue styrofoam balls and the eyes can go right on top. And maybe your monster will have four eyes or six eyes. You can give them as many eyes as you like. Add some glue here, right on top. <laughs> There he is, our monster's looking really fun. Oh, I like it. I think we did a great job. Thank you, Katie. 
but really, I'm so hungry. May I have five pom-poms, please? <laughs> These tissue box monsters really love pom-poms. Okay, what color would you like? Orange, please. I love orange. <laughs> Can you help me count five orange pom-poms? One, two, three, four, five orange pom-poms. Mmm, I love pom-poms. <laughs> I love playing with all of you. I'd love to see how you decorate your tissue box monster. Maybe with some feathers? Or with lots of different eyes. Ooh. <laughs> and I wonder how many pom-poms your monster could eat. I bet they could eat a lot. You all did a great job counting today. Let's count together one more time. We'll count to three and then we'll sing and wave a big goodbye to all our friends. Are you ready? One, two, three. Bye-bye, goodbye. Thanks for playing.